Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. I am excited to bring my favorite four tips to successful photography in 2022. So hang tight, listen, I'm gonna dive in deep, enjoy the show. I'm gonna be bringing you a lot of little nice tidbits in this episode. Uh, so hang on and enjoy the show. I thought I would start out this YouTube uh, series with the four keys that I think every photographer in 2022 needs to focus on to be an outstanding photographer, not only just like your skills as like creating images, but for becoming financially successful as well, because at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a business and you need to make money doing it. And so I wanted to look deep into your souls and say, it's okay to make money as a photographer. It's okay to talk about money as a photographer. Uh, there's a few of us out there that are just, you know, willing to have that tough conversation. So we're going to be doing that. And um, yeah, the four keys. Number one, be original. I cannot tell you how important that is going to be in 2022. Why? Because with all the influx of Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, um, whatever else is out there, there are so many good content creators and, and you need to find something that is just going to separate you from, from the pack. If you want to be someone that follows around someone like a Peter Lick, and I use him because he's one of the most financially successful photographers of all time. There are people who have made their entire career of just following the things that he has done, repeating it and selling it as a limited edition, you know, one of a kind special, oh, I used air quotes, that's terrible, but it's true. <laughs> um, you gotta do something different, be original. Like I've, I've been to Mesa Arch, I photographed it. I was one of 40 probably tripods pointing in the one direction you can point lined up around the arch waiting for the sun to come up. It's really cool. I'm not saying don't go there, but like research a little bit more about like different places in the world to go check out. Or if you're going to go to Mesa Arch and you're there for a week, like maybe only shoot the arch itself one day, the best day you've researched when the sunrise is going to be beautiful and it'll separate from the 90% of the time when it's just clear skies. Like do something a little different in your preparation to, to make yourself original, to make yourself stand out. All right, that's number one, be original. Number two, composition. Composition is king for a reason, right? Learn the in and out of, of creating not just a picture and not just photographic art, but like storytelling, right? The storytelling people of our trade are the ones who are separating themselves from the pack. You look at people like Art Wolf, Christina Mittermer, uh, Tom Magnuson, Paul Nicklin, uh, and then the list goes on. But these people can tell a story with their one photo. Like they don't have to have like a whole sequence of photos that are um, painting a picture. They can hammer one with just one, one, one single picture. And, and, and learning the, the rule of thirds and leading lines and um, things like the golden ratio, like they're, they're part of it. They don't have to be, those are rules, right? And they can guide you. It's okay to step outside those, those rules. Rules are meant to be broken, but diving deep into the composition is going to help really separate you from the rest of the world and photographers. And I guarantee you, it's going to separate you from like 99% of photos that you'll pop up on Instagram, right? There's, there's, a lot of stuff out there, but really understand composition. It's going to make a huge difference. And number three, let's all dive into the technical side of photography. And I'm not just talking about the camera itself, right? Like the camera, yes, you need to understand the camera, aperture, shutter speed, ISO, um, all the little things that your camera can do, like the new cameras with the eye tracking technology. Yeah, let's dive into that and understand it better because the last thing you want to do is be out on set or in an exotic location photographing animals and just being overwhelmed with the technical side of what your camera has to offer. But I'm talking more than that. I'm talking about like, let's understand how to get your images in front of people's eyes, right? Like that is the most important thing because unless you just want to have a desktop or a hard drive full of really great images, 
cool. Like that's awesome. I'm not saying that's, that's wrong, but if you try to make a business out of it, like you need people to see it and how do they see it? A website, a strong website, research, what makes for a strong website, SEO. Now that you have the website, how do you get people to the website? Like, what are you doing to bring people in? And I'm going to go over all these in separate videos, but like, these are the four things that I really want you guys to hammer out. Okay. Is, is the technical side of, of Instagram, of Facebook, of Twitter, of TikTok, like all those things are going to be essential in the next decade. And, and the, the, the 2020s are going to be fascinating when it comes to seeing the importance of digital media in our photography world. It, it is going to be a game changer. So you really have to get on board with it, understand it, don't think it as the enemy. Like I hate doing it. I'd much rather be out in nature doing photography. Uh, you know, breathing the fresh air instead of in my studio here, which I love this little space, but it's, it's, you know, my second home, my first home's out there in the wild. Um, if the days of carrying around a portfolio, bring them to galleries, getting people to buy your work, like those are gone. Like you can still do that. Yeah. And there's probably people that can be successful without it, but it is, it is, it is getting more and more important to be able to understand the things like I was talking about all the social media platforms, Google SEO. So let's dive into the technical side of not only the camera, but the business of nature, wildlife photography, whatever your thing is, wedding photography, um, product photography, like all those sort of things we need to dive into. How do you get your images in front of people who are going to be buying them and giving you money into your bank account so you can keep doing this stuff and buying the new gear and paying for the trips to go different places. And the last one is learn the hustle you need to have it in the heart, right? Like you need to figure out why you're doing what you're doing. Who are you serving with this work? Is it, you know, if it's a wedding photographer, like are you more concerned about your brand and growing your business? Or like when you're on that shoot, are you concerned about like the emotion capturing the tear coming out of the, the groom's eye the first time he sees the bride? Like all those sort of things. Like what makes, what is your why? You need to find your why. And you know, for me, it's easy because it's, it's wildlife. It, it's, it's, um, it's nature photography. I, I'm out here trying to preserve as much of the wild spaces as possible through my photography. And, you know, you just got to find your why. You got to find what makes you get up in the morning, what makes you, you know, set that alarm clock and uh, go to bed early and get out there and, you know, the early bird getting the worm type thing. Find your why, find that, what that inner burn, that, what, that hustle inside of you. And um, I know with those four things, originality, uh, learning composition, like, like the back of your hand, understanding the technical side of photography and, and finding and understanding your why and, and that, that reason for the hustle. If you can combine those four things, there is no doubt that 2022 will be your most successful year as a photographer, I, hands down, I'm telling you. So get out there, guys. I'm going to be bringing you some really fun content. I, I hope you enjoy. Please like and share. Um, it's, it's by getting our message and supporting each other. It, it's how we get out and, and, and get the message across. Like I, I'm at this point, I'm going to become a teacher for you all. And it's going to be really fun to share my story. So please like, comment. Let's get a conversation going in the comments. I'd love to, I'm going to answer all the comments and, and, and please be honest. I can handle it. Um, but yeah, guys, let's, let's, let's get this out there and uh, stay tuned for more content from the art of actual change from Derek Nielsen photography. I love you. We'll see you next time.